Okay, so these are my Ozark rod holders. I don't know how, they're not Scotty, so I'm gonna try them, see how they work. They're kinda cheap. So, I need one up here at the front, one in the back. So I don't know, I may put it right there. I may put it right here. That way it'll be closer where she can reach. But we have to have the factory one over there, which stands the rod straight up. What actually stands the rod straight up. You know, so, uh, but this one, I like, I'm gonna put over here. So I may mount a mount here so we can move it here, or I may put it over there, screw the mount on that, the factory, that way she can use it on both sides if she wants to. So that's what we gotta do with these. We got one for the front and one for the back. And I'm probably gonna add more, but right now, I just wanted, wanted to see how I liked it. Okay. Okay. Ozark Trail rod holders. I put one on the front for my wife and one on the back for me. So, they are all right. I gotta tighten them up a little bit because they're still a little loose, so. But, they're not Scotty mounts. I wanted Scotty mounts, but I had to order them and I could pick these straight up, so. So, are they easy to install? Yes, four screws. You just get your drill out and yep. drill it in there. Yep, install the screws and then I can I'll put the rod holders in the live wheel while we're traveling. Okay. So they're basic. They're, they're not expensive, so I don't know how long they're going to last. I'll probably end up changing them out with a better Scotty mounts. But they're, they're basically just like, I don't, just like the Scotty mounts. Just a little cheaper version. They're kind of flimsy, flimsier, but they'll work. They'll work in a pinch. So anyway, that's another little update or a little mod. I don't know if you can call it a mod yet, but I can't wait to try these seats. That's gonna be a whole lot better. I found out that the plastic seats, the original seats, is which are these. For some reason, I'm not a big guy, but for some reason, as the day went on, the seat leaned back farther and farther with me. <laughs> and it was a hot day, but by the end of the day, this bad boy right here had leaned back and I was like lazy boy reclining. I didn't care for that too much. And it, after about four and a half hours of sitting on them hard seats, I was ready for some cushion. So how hard was it to swip, how hard was it to swap seats out? Four bolts. Now the only, the only problem that I found out with these is it is tough to get the bolts because they don't give you some room. That's the problem. The back ones are not too bad because you can get your hands up in there. I couldn't get my hands up in there, so I had to use two fingers. It's very aggravating to try to get them, as you can see. The seat covers it up, so. But it can be done. It's just a little aggravating, so. I bought these. These come from Walmart. They were 20 28 29 dollars a piece so it's not a bad not very expensive but uh well that's starting on it guys so we got a lot more to do i want to put i got a, I got a garmin gps fish finder to go on i don't know if i'll ever need the gps or go for it for gps but anyway i got one at least i can mark at least i can mark places and all that get where I find the fish, but she's coming around.